Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Tangas of Glitch Universe to the channel. Today we'll have a look at two kind of forgotten tanks which you don't often see on the YouTube channels, but which are pretty freaking good and which share something in common. This is the Tier 9 SD-1, the Russian heavy tank as you can see, with a big turret. And this tank packs a really meaty gun, a really punchy gun with 8 degrees of gun depression. Russian tanks don't have gun depression? Well, SD-1 says hold my beer or hold my vodka. This one sure has. And as you can see on the front of the turret, it has monstrous frontal turret armor as well. Really good tank, really like playing this one, but it's not often seen on uh, YouTube. This is a bit of a weak spot, something to take in into consideration if you have the tank and if you uh, decide to play uh, it against it. Driver's Edge, a bit of a weak spot, lower plate obvious obviously as well. But what you want to do is face to have this one basically hold on or side scrape with it. It's a great tank. And the other one which we will be looking at uh, is in the American tech tree, and that's this one, the M46 Patton. And the M46 Patton, as you can see, also has great gun depression, 10 degrees, really good damage per minute on its top gun, the uh, T5E1 M2, 218 in terms of penetration, 265 on APCR, which is uh, quite good for, uh, for a tier 9 uh, medium tank. But this one relies on mobility mostly, and on the fact that it can... Uh, can really use ridge lines because, well, the ST1 is armored, this one sure is not. But without any further ado, let's hop into the replays. Here we go, ST1 first at Desert Sands. And this is a bit of a, a way I'm, I'm starting to do these reviews, uh, just recording them on the uh, on a PC straight into Streamlabs. And if this all will work out, then I'll be able to do reviews and videos just a little bit quicker because this is a straight mp4 file which I can upload towards the YouTube channel and don't have to process it and everything yada yada. Um, so if you like these types of videos, if, if you like this content, please leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel and of course do tell what you think of the ST1 in the M46 pattern as well because you will help me and you will help other players too. Because the tank that uh, TLC O'Neill is gonna face, the KV4, that one has just been buffed. And that's the uh, precursor to the uh, SC-1 in this tech tree. You go from the KV-3 towards the KV-4 and then towards the SC-1 and then towards the IS-4. Um, so I expect a few more people to wanting to play this tank. And you can see that TLC is uh, just ignoring the T-54 on the left. He's getting shot by the T-54. But this tank is far more appealing to shoot because he's tracked in front and he's going to track him again. There we go. 403. Nice shot into the triangle of this E75 who decided to go out sideways and getting punished for it. You can look at the damage ribbons on the left. He's up to 1600 damage already and uh, a little bit of assistance to I think it's about 1k we're going to see that just now. There is 924 in terms of assistance damage. That's all really good. And what you then will want to do, you will want to try to shoot this guy as well. Track shot on the T28 prototype. They are three tanks down as you can see. They have to hold the line here. Because take a look at the minimap, they're getting flanked as well. Ignore the T-54 rolling around because now the I E-75 is gonna push forward. He's getting shot, that's one tank taken out and this T-54 is in deep, deep trouble. There's an M-103 shooting him, there is the ST-1 shooting him as you can see, here he goes. And there's an E-75 rolling in. There's no way this tank can survive because this T-54, I think it isn't even fully maxed out. It has the top turret, it has probably tracks an engine as well and there goes the pop turret now <laughs> lands on the m103 um but it didn't have the big gun as you can see 280 there was apcr rounds that is the i think maybe the stock gun um but there was no way that t54 could have survived in this situation tlc o'neill then decides to go forward he's going to shoot the hori in just a second no not going to happen go forward again go forward again because he noticed already there was somebody on the flank the e50 clears the green e75 shoot him again go for a track shot but don't succeed 451 in terms of damage dealt that's a really good shot and take a look behind the hori has been taken out by the m103 and then you will just go towards another situation to another position where you can just basically hold the line. Great stuff to have an engine fire on that E50. The T26 E5 is going to take out the M103, I think, in a combined effort with the E50. There it is. Thank you very much. 
And now what you will then will want to do is just sit here. Luckily the T28 prototype has died in front of him so he can sidescape and catch a shot on the tracks. There we go, thank you very much. And then just kind of ignore the, the T26E5. Shoot him once, he's going to shoot you in the side. But now you will want to take up the tier 9 German medium tank, the E50. Because that's a far more dangerous target. Bouncing a shot from the T26E5. Shoot the E50. Yes, that's one tank taken out. Four kills. Number five is well and truly on his way. 54 hit points left. So here we go in three, two, one, and goes the turret. F this team, says the T28 Proto. Well, maybe, maybe, but at least it it, it, it ended in a uh, in a game where there was just one tank alive. And if you look at the damage dealt, 11,908 versus 12,126. That's a really, really nice and close game. 15 shots fired, 15 hits, 15 penetrations. And as you can see, take a look at that 1,291 assistance damage on the E35, on the KV-4 and on the T28 prototype. A little bit of credits earned as well, or a little bit. 43k, which is really good with a premium account. And even would have made some credits if he had been running a standard account. And base XP was 1,424. Thank you very much, mate, for sending that one in. Let's take a look then at the M46 pattern by Wade's Legacy. And if you've taken a look at the uh, at the time, you could have already seen that this is a far more lengthy game. In fact, Wade's is a bottom tier, as you can see. Um, and there's some really dangerous tanks on the enemy team. Uh, speaking of which, I think uh, the only tank he would not have to worry about is the is uh, probably the Object 140. And that might be a strange thing to say. Why do you say that, Martin? Well, let me explain. There's an Amex 50B. Autoloader. There's an E100. Big derpy gun. There's the Arkpans E100. Really big derpy gun. Uh, Projecto 65. Auto reload. Betcha 25 TAP. Really good mobility and a autoloader as well. And there is a Centurion 7-1. And the Centurion 7-1 may have a hash gun. And... If Waits gets shot in the side of the hull, in the side of the turret, which is uh, obviously not uncommon, you can get shot over there, then he will uh, suffer. And that means that he has to be really conservative with his hit points. He has to use the maximum gun depression, the mobility, etc. and just basically play it very smart. The team is splitting up, but luckily red team is splitting up as well. You can see it's three versus two in the northern corner. It's four versus three down over here. Hello, Progetto. I'm going to shoot you once. There we go. Just be very conservative. It's five versus three, three, four-ish over here. Uh, E100 is rolling in. Progetto is rolling in. There is nothing he can do but run away just a little bit. So he's going to run away. He's going to go behind this little bush. And that makes the red think that he is truly running away. But Waze is not. He is not truly running away. Ooh, that's in no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. The E100 uh, was watching him, but he uh, he missed. He's going to wait just a little bit here for the track shot on the Betcha 25 TAP. Then wait a little bit more. Can he shoot this E100? He can't shoot the Yarkpans E100, but he can shoot the E100 in the lower plate with an APC around 271 damage dealt. And here he is running away again. Because this is what you have to do. You've lost this flank. There is a heavy tank still left. As you can see on his team, which is the IS, uh, the uh, not the IS7, the FV215B. But that is a four versus one, and there's a projector running around as well. Waits could have stayed here and tried to help the FV215B, but uh, yeah, that would have just ended in disaster. You just have to run away from time to time and basically sacrifice a teammate. Oh, hello, Obugon40. Bye bye, Obugon40. That guy uh, also tried to run away, but he did not succeed, as you can see. And this is the beauty of uh, the, this tank. This is the beauty of the M46 pet. You do have the mobility. You have a good HE run up the airs for that AMX 50B. 552 hit points left. Shoot him again with AP 350 damage dealt. Thank you very much. And the FE clears the tank. That's really good. Really nice damage dealt, 2,775 shots so far. Here we go, up to 3k already on a Progetto. And he's not being contested, nobody's shooting him except this uh, Progetto now. Ooh, no, 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 nobody's shooting him. Run, 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 get behind the container, yes! Here we go, he can't run away from this Jacques Pans even run, so let's go for it and track him and... Ooh, no, 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 no! <laughs> he tracks the Jacques Pans even run it! 
shoots him in the track wheel, but then that makes the Jagdpanzer spin around and straight into uh, the Awaits Legacy, who has to run away again. This E100 saying, oh, there's a tank running. What, what's happening? I don't know what is happening here. Uh, I'm going to turn around. Yes, run away, guys. Run away, buddy. Here we go. He goes up on the hill because now it is a three versus four situation. And what he has to do here is use the mobility, use the gun depression, and try to stay out of harm's way. There's a projecto left, there is a Jagdpanzer even on it left, the even on it is still left, the Betcher 25T is still left. So let's just drop down, risk it for the biscuit, shoot the even on it, there we go, thank you! 207 damage dealt, one kill so far, and then he's going to move away. There is the projecto, can he shoot the projecto? No, he cannot shoot the projecto, but the FE can shoot the projecto, so boom, goes the projecto. And that means that there's still this little Batchet left. And there's the mark. Uh, hello, Batchet. Yes. Take him out. And now make it a one versus one. M46 pattern with a big hole in the side of the turret versus the big meaty Jagdpanzer E100. Drop down as you can see. Not a speed boost running, but he has got momentum. Shoot him in the side. Thank you very much. Doesn't penetrate because he shoots the front of the casemate where the welds are holding that superstructure together. So that's a really strong part. But now he has got in. And then the FE215B said, go A, go A cap. No, mate, you've got two caps over here. There's nothing that this Jagdpanzer even under can do. Shoot the monster in the butt. There we go. Two more shots are needed. Uh, once. Thank you very much. And this Jagdpanzer will be dead in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Gotcha. How you like that? Brilliant game, excellent gameplay in terms of picking the targets, in picking the, 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 the momentum in, in ammunition selection. He gets a uh, Lavachelle, whatever uh, type of metal, 23 shots fired as you can see, 21 penetrations. That means really good accuracy, only two shots bound, a little bit of spotting uh, or tracking damage on the Progetto. Mm, credits went as well. <laughs> 1031 credits. Yeah. There we go, but 1766 base XP. Brilliant stuff, and the medal that he got was a, what well, was it again, a lavish, uh, whatever medal. Destroying two enemy vehicles with a medium tank in one button, and they have to be at least one tier higher. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe, ST1 and M46 pattern. Thank you very much for watching. i catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking, and bye-bye.